Welcome to the TMC Project, and today I'm excited to bring to you the science of success. Daniel Colt was recently on their podcast. I'd read the Culture Code sometime last year, and it was just mind-blowing. Seeing that he was on the Science of Success podcast got me incredibly excited. I've loved their podcast for years. Many of the books that I've read, they've had their authors. And Matt, the host, is just absolutely solid. I like the way he runs his ship, and I look forward to meeting him one day and talking to him and hearing what his mind thinks. So, let's get to the episode. Let's go. Daniel Colt can teach us so much about how to reach our potential, where we're going, and what we're trying to do. He has it right when he says greatness isn't born, it's built. And whenever I think greatness, basketball is always the first thing that comes to mind. I think when you really want to measure greatness, you can look no further than two of the greatest NBA players of all time, that being Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. The sheer amount of practice they put in every single day is the perfect example. These two men really show you what it means to achieve true greatness. And by watching, you can tell. It wasn't by accident. They practiced every day. They refined their art. They got sharper. They got better. And when both of them found plateaus, they found coaches and mentors that could get them to go even further. That's crazy. You're talking about two of the most talented people who have ever graced the game of basketball. Their greatness wasn't built on that. Their greatness was built on effort, practice, and consistency. I think it's important that we know that. If you're trying to do anything above normal and you don't expect it to be a little bit of work and practice, I don't think you really are expecting anything above normal. You're just wishing. Don't be silly. Work for it. Don't wish for it. All right, so we're down to practice. Let's make a deep practice. Next, they, they then go on to talk about the concept of deep practice. You're not just practicing. You're practicing on the edge of your limits. You're not doing something that you succeed all the time. You're doing something that you're failing 30% of the time. It's only by failing that our brain can really see where we need to make improvements and grow. If we're not constantly on the edge of failure, our brain has no reason to accommodate the additional ability. We have to be failing and seeing it. By seeing it, our body can really process and learn and, and build more. The amount you learn and ingrain into your mind when seeing your failure and really reflecting on it is tenfold any amount of reading and memorization. Don't underestimate what you can learn by failing while trying. So make sure whenever you're practicing, it's something difficult and it's something that you aren't able to achieve. It really takes a concerted effort. That's deep practice. All right, we know we need to practice and it's gonna be something difficult so we're failing often. What are we working on? <laughs> That's a really good question. Most people really don't know what they're trying to do. And the reason for that is, is no reflection. We're too busy gaining experience or reacting to the outside world. Without reflection, it's very difficult to find out where we actually are and get a clear measurement. Take that time. Reflect on where you are. Also reflect on where you wanna go. These are two powerful statements. They can really require you to look at yourself over and over and over again, measuring and seeing where you really are in this project, getting a real high level of self-awareness around it. After a good time reflecting to find out where you are and where you wanna go, and that's where the third step comes in. How are you gonna get there? There's no easy answer for that one. It has a lot to do with where you are and where you're trying to go. But the way to make sure you maximize your potential is be specific. No loose language. Have measurable goals. Make it very clear when you're failing. Again, it's not a failure. You set up a game to see where you'd fall. This way you can get up and not fall again. You don't want to walk through it and not slip up at all. There might be mistakes that you missed. Make it challenging. Start working towards it. The Science of Success is an awesome podcast. If you're trying to improve yourself or get better at your job, there's no better podcast to check out. I recommend starting with this episode and then definitely going back to their mindset episode, learning about the growth mindset 
had a larger impact on my life than almost any other concept. And their episode does a stellar job introducing you to Carol Danwick, the creator of the book. They explain the importance of a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset and what you can do to promote a growth mindset. I want to thank all you guys for joining me. I'm very excited for the future, and I hope you are too. We're going to make personal growth easy, and we're going to get you on track. Thank you for joining me, and let's go.